We want to love and oh, sacred form back at y'all again. All right, now we're going into another dimension. See, a lot of the elite got us thinking that New Year's is in the beginning of January, January the first one is not. This is the ushering in of a new energy. I have to make that, I have to stress that because a lot of people don't know that every year there's there are other dimensions open and other entities being born. And for the mere fact that Mercury went into retrograde twice, this shows that a certain people who is connected to that bloodline, which is us, is going through a lot of changes, detoxing, mentally challenging um, things as far as with other people. You see, the physical got us thinking that we are all in the same bloodline, which we are not. So this energy is actually exposing those who look like you, but it's not from your bloodline. So... At this time of the year, the Pope, Elizabeth, the top 13 bloodlines, Rock, Rockefeller, Hasburg, Bilderberg, all of them, they down there doing rituals. And they are trying to intercept your energy by way of your ignorance of you taking your attention off of this new retrograde. Now, we're going to do some rituals. This is what my queen brought me. If you, if you can see this. Right. We have ancestors awakening, and the elite is trying to put them back to sleep by using us to fight with one another. Now, those with your third eye, we need you to focus. Don't give your attention too much to what's going on in the so-called conscious community, because this is what the new entities, they are body snatching these people in the so-called conscious community and using them to fight each other to keep our attention away from being able to digest this new energy that's opening up, not outside of us, but inside of us. So the ancestors, in order for them to come and stay in this dimension to be able to protect us, we have to offer something. This is what Christians get the offering from. But this is the real offering. They try to process and plagiarize the true offering, which is the ushering in of a new energy. It has nothing to do with Christ. The only thing that Christ has to do is, is being diabolical, or as you know, you have to decode it as far as the resurrection. So when we're talking about the resurrection, we're talking about the, the sleeping giants. And the sleeping giants is not you. The sleeping giants is what you are creating by way of what you have been doing throughout the whole year. Every year, we go into a new world. In the, in the, in, in the third dimension, you have certain layers. It's just like you on a corner. If you're on Wild Street, Wild Street don't just have one house on that street, Right? You have, you, have, you have houses on this side of the street, houses on this side of the street. So we're going to other houses. So we're going into the third house. And Christ rose on the third day. And this is your third eye. So your Christos is rising, which is your melanin or your soul substance. So now it's time for us to give the spirits. Our ancestors were winos. They were drunks like us. See, we look at our ancestors as being some figures that's, you know, that's in the sky, like the God concept. We have to put that to rest because you are your ancestors that's been um, reincarnating for over a long period of time. You are your ancestors. That's why I tell people, stop saying you're going to ask your ancestors for something because you might as well go back to church. You look at outside of yourself instead of looking in the internal resurrection of what is going on inside of you now. So, so, so awaken those ancestors by offering them spirits. This is why they call it spirits. But you have to know how to control yourself when you are digesting or ingesting the processed version of your ancestors. Because this is a processed version. And this bottle is ancestors. This is what my queen got me. I don't know where she got it from. But you can use any wine, liquor, or whatever. Just don't overdo it. So I'm going to tell you what to do. Go and get you two black candles. And if you can't find black candles, get you two red candles. These represent the frequency of the strength that you are using to awaken these new energies because some of them are being stuck. And the one that's being stuck is, is, is a reflection of what you see going on in the so-called conscious community or among us in our household when we fight each other. This is just showing that they are stuck. Okay? This is the side effect. So in order to release them and cross them on over to help us, to assist us, when I say us, I'm talking about the inside of us because a certain part of our brain is shutting down this year and another layer is going to open up. You're talking about melanin. We have other stuff in us. The pineal gland is not the strongest gland in us, period. We have new blood. We even have new things that is opening up in our blood. We have other worlds that is now unfolding in our blood.
we have other worlds unfolded in our sperm, man. So, man, I'm telling you, this year is not about giving your attention to this hip hop, giving your attention to a lot of the stuff I had that's not going to benefit you because everything that's going to your mind goes into your sperm because your sperm is brain fluid. Do you get what I'm saying? So, again, get those two candles, red or black. Put them at your front door, one on either side of the front door. Take some cornmeal and take it from one side of your door to, to the other side of your door. Make a line. And that line goes from one, and then in the middle of that, it's going to be like a capital T. Make that line go all the way to your bedroom door. Don't, don't let it go in your door. Stop it at your bedroom door. This is cornmeal. All right? After that, take a letter at the end of that cornmeal at your door. Take a letter and write to the ancestors in you and tell them what you want. Tell them what you are trying to do and tell them where you are going, where you want to go. This is after you drink this. You drink this before you do that. All right? So the spirits can help assist you and to let you know what you need. Because sometimes we are unconscious of what we want rather than what we need. After we write that letter, put it on the inside of your bedroom. Leave your door open that night. The next day, take that letter. Sweep that cornmeal up. Put it in that, a white bag with that letter. Okay? Take it to your backyard. If you don't have a backyard, take it to a secluded area and bury it. Don't look back. Walk away from that secluded area and don't look back. When you come home, don't come through your front door. Come through your back door. And when you come through your back door, take a dollar. Take a dollar, put it under your bed with a bowl of water. The bowl don't have to be no um, particular type, type of color. Just take any type of bowl, fill it up with water, and put it under there with the dollar. Take the dollar, take the bowl, and set it on top of the dollar under your bed. Leave it there for seven days. After that, take that dollar, put it on your mantelpiece, and leave it there for the whole year because the following year, we are not going into another um, layer of the third dimension. We're leaving the third dimension completely. When I say we, we leave in our whole mind state psychologically, we're going to be new beings next year. We're going to start seeing new things. The numbers going to start changing from 11, 11 to 7. Some people already went into next year already because they're seeing sevens already. So some people are already surpassed 2017 and went into 2018, which is not the true year. But I'm going to give it to you because this is how this is what you understand or understand at the moment. Okay. So with that much said, Black Science TV 111, 0 for 4, I'm out. Peace.